Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This time we've been asked to search for specific keywords, Antonio, Hugh Evans, and Horatio in a disk image. Our goal is to identify which files contain these names and generate a detailed report for the investigator. Let's jump right to it. First, we'll open Autopsy for Windows and create a new case. Click the Create New Case icon, and in the New Case Information window, we'll name the case Chapter 1, Project 6. In the Additional Information window, we'll enter Chapter 1, Project 6 as the case number, and add our name as the examiner. Now we need to select the data source. In the Select Data Source window, we'll choose Disk Image or VM File from the drop-down menu. Then we'll click Browse to locate the image file which is stored in our work folder. Once we've selected the file, we'll click Open and then Next. In the Configure Ingest Modules window, we'll click Select All to enable all the ingest modules. After selecting them, we'll click Next and then finish to start the analysis. Once Autopsy finishes processing, we'll create a keyword list to search for the names Antonio, Hugh Evans, and Horatio. We'll click the Keyword Lists button at the top right and then click Manage List. In the Global Keyword Search Settings dialog box, we'll click New List and name it List Search 1. Then we'll click OK. Next, we'll select List Search 1 and click New Keywords. So in the New Keywords dialog box, we'll type Antonio, press Enter, type Hugh Evans, press Enter, and then type Horatio. Just click OK to save the keywords, and then click OK again to close the dialog box. Now we'll run the keyword search. We'll click Keyword List again, check the box next to List Search 1, and click Search. Autopsy will search the disk image for any occurrences of the keywords we've entered. Also, just a quick note. If the keyword isn't visible in the content viewer, it might be obscured, for example, if it's an unallocated space or part of a graphics file. In that case, we can switch to the hex string or index text tabs to examine the raw data. But moving on, in the result viewer pane, we'll see a list of files that contain the keywords. We'll inspect each file to confirm whether it contains the keyword. If it does, we'll tag the file. Checking the first file for the keyword search, we see that the name Antonio has been found in it. If you check in the Keyword Preview tab, you will see that our keywords have been found in the file. Next, with these results, we'll generate a report for the investigator. We'll click Generate Report at the top of the screen. In the Generate Report window, we'll select the Results HTML option and click Next. In the Configure Artifacts Report window, we'll click the Tagged Results button and select the follow-up checkbox. Then we'll click Finish to generate the report. Once the report is ready, we'll click the results HTML path name to open it. The report will include links to all the results, allowing us to review them easily. If we go to the case subfolder, we can check on our report. You will notice a section, Keywords Hits on the left, which when you click on it, it shows the path to the file for each keyword where there was a hit. Finally, we will create a memo summarizing our findings. This will include key details such as the identified keywords, the file's path name and file name, its creation and modification timestamps, and its size. Once the memo is complete, we'll exit Autopsy and submit our findings. And that's it. We've successfully searched for specific keywords, identified relevant files, and generated a detailed report for the investigator. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.